Windows Server 2016 deduplication abilities. I'm about to try them out. This is a technical preview, so just a beta. And VM Endpoint Backup has already backed up this entire system. It's a physical machine, not a virtual machine. This is a super micro super server. And what I want to do here is bring up Server Manager. And before I even do that, I'm actually going to show you a disk management as well. So what I did here was what I used parted magic to secure erase a couple of SSDs. So you saw a couple of drives ready for me to initialize them. All right, so clean, fresh start. I go into File and Storage Services, go under Disks, and here we go. All the brands of the drives shown right there. You don't have to memorize anything. That's cool. So it's a drive one that I'm going to be working with here, right? Cool. So let's start the new volume wizard. Disk one. Now I wish here it showed the brand or the label, but I already established that it's drive one. So just gotta be very careful you don't accidentally nuke the wrong drive. Simply hit next. It's gonna bring it online and format a GPT. That's a good thing. We'll go ahead and let it use the whole drive. If you have a really old SSD, you might want to use 90% of the drive. Kind of a a way to protect against accidentally filling it to 100% when the performance can suffer. Simplicity here. This is a Samsung 840. It's not that old. I'm just going to hit next. Drive E? Sure. Why not? Now, here's where things get a little more interesting that we want to turn on NTFS. And I'm hoping the next screen lets me do what I want to do. The answer is no. Now I've seen videos and right there on the drive completion thing you should get a dedupe option, but I did not. really want to do So what I'm going to do is more like Vladin's article. Um, when you don't have it show up, what you want to do is go to Volumes, find the thing you just created, right-click, and we have Configured Data Duplication. Now why is it grayed out? Well, let's have a look. So here in his story, he has NTFS already there. But mine is grayed out. So the reason for that would be data duplication role has not been installed yet. All right, so that's the step that was missed. I think it's very likely you may do the same exact kind of thing. So we'll go to add roles and features. And once again, have a look at where it is. It's under File. So 
So I've added the de data deduplication role. That's really the gist of it. So if you had data duplication installed already, well, when you go to right click the blank empty drive, you would actually see it as an option. And I'm gonna show you that. So it's done. Now if we right click, does anything happen? Immediately, configure data deduplication. Interesting, right? There's a profile for virtualized backup server, which would be my use case. Today I have it on a physical file server. It's not running in a VM. We can set the number of days and so forth. We can even set the schedule background at low priority. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to leave it at default and just click OK. Again, keeping this video simple. Now remember I said, what if you have a disk that's empty? And here's one that's unknown. It's this old SSD, Corsair. Start the new volume wizard. Hit next. There's only one disk that's that small. It's this one, disk zero. It's going to bring it in as GPT. This one is old and it definitely suffers from performance issues if I let it get to 100% by accident. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it 50 of the SSD. So that was a dumb mistake. <laughs> Drive F, sorry about that. Ah, there we go. Change it to NTFS. Edupe 2, data deduplication, right there. So the wizard looks a little different. So this video shows you both ways to enable deduplication. On an existing drive, you already formatted NTFS, and on a brand new SSD in this case, which was secure erase, meaning it had no file system at all. The process just looks a little different, depending upon which way you went about getting dedupe going. And the result is just a drive letter that's ready for you to use. So now let's configure a Veeam backup. So instead of backing out of that USB 3, how about we back up to this device that we just created, this drive, I should say. So entire computer, local storage again, yep. Put it on this bigger dedupe, a little faster drive, SATA 3. All right. That's normal. So, what I need to do is kind of fake it out here. You know, you have this hidden share. So I'm going to back up to a network share. Let's see if a network uh, backup works. So Veeam doesn't let you back up to an internal share, right? And entire computer wouldn't work because it's one of the drives. So let's do volume level backup. Only backing up C. We can show hidden drives, but notice it had selected them for us. We don't really need to. Okay, local storage, sure. Send it over to this E drive, great. Save. Run the job now, and off it goes. Now the last full backup we did to a USB 3 connected device took 33 minutes. So we'll get some sense of the performance of this deduped drive. Now remember it's offline deduplication that's happening and it's not a spinning drive like last time which was to a two terabyte drive I believe. This time it's to SSD so it's going to go faster. And it's already created a folder and it's created a backup job and it hasn't really pushed data in there yet that's why it's at zero percent. 
And there it goes. So I want to come back to this video and it's all done. It's nice how uh, it's well labeled, right? You can tell exactly what's going on here. It's not a proprietary dat database, it's just a folder with some files in it. One of the appealing things about VM Endpoint Backup. Okay, I'll come back to this computer a little bit. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how the dedupe works. Really, a second computer backing up to a, a network share would be wise. All right, that finished rather quickly. Three minutes, 40 seconds for a complete system backup. So we have really no evidence of, you know, a sluggish drive of any sort. How about I run a disk bench against it? Do we, whoops, do we get anything approaching you know, decent speeds? Let that run, and then I'll resume the video. Okay, those speeds are very normal. Let's see if right-clicking does anything for us. It's called dedupe. Tools, nothing magical new showed up. So we really got to go head back over here. Percent used. That's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. And thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.